And I've got two viewers already. Hurrah! <laughs> Welcome, everybody who is watching live and watching the replay. Uh, this has been quite a bit in the making here. I uh, first started uh, uh, getting this together, I want to say, last year, actually, trying to get donations in and uh, trying to get prizes in uh, for the mystery prize, anyway, for the raffle that we're doing at the end of the break. Let's crack I've open this case here. Let's get those boxes out of there. I've been sitting on this case since Saturday. Uh, they shipped it actually on Tuesday. But I get this delivered to my post office box, which means they have to sort it into my account. Then I get it a day later, which is just fine. Steve from the Case Breakers is uh, trying to tweet at me right here, or tweet at me, text me, but I can't read your text just yet, buddy. So if you're watching, give me one second while I pull these cases up. And then it was packing peanuts all over the place here. And you know what? Let me get a bag. Everyone, my wife's here. Hello, everybody. The real star of the show. That's right. I'm, I'm a sorter. Oh, good Lord. I just did you hear me do my Minnesota star? Oh, God. So, hey, how was the All Star game, everybody? You know, I, it was really cool. I was actually, yeah, I, I work in downtown Minneapolis, so I'm kind of in the middle of all that stuff. And it was really neat to see Minneapolis turn into LA for about a weekend. And being in a smaller metropolitan area, you, you know, for me, it's like my vision of L.A. and New York is that there is a red carpet every other block. And to see the red carpet go up Nicolette Mall and onto Hennepin Avenue where I was at work was kind of a cooler experience that, you know, we're not going to see that again for another four years when the Super Bowl comes up here. So it was a nice treat to feel like we were something big, something cool, something special, even if for just a few minutes. You know what? I love packing peanuts. Does that mean I don't have to go to Office Depot and buy any? <laughs> is that it? That is it. Hi! <laughs> I didn't realize that, that would be coming Yeah, you are way on camera. Hi! So Steve says, no worries, I found it, just can't chat. Oh, I don't see anyone in the chat room right now, but uh, I will send out the invite link. In just a moment, I'll send that out on Twitter. So if y'all want to just hang back for a second while I open this up. While I'm doing that, I want to give a huge shout out to a few people and companies that helped me uh, with my mystery prize, as well as helped out with the charity. Uh, firstly, one of the first companies I worked with was a newer company um, that I discovered while looking for um, some binders. I was looking for an enclosed um, solution to my binders because what I had experienced is something that a lot of collectors probably experienced in the past is that the pages would tend to come loose from the, uh, the binder rings. Uh, cards would slip out. You know, you might accidentally drop a binder, and you know, you'd lose a lot of valuable items. There's a company called Unikeep, owned by or run by a company called Univenture, that makes these absolutely stunningly amazing, awesome. They're called case binders, and everything stays enclosed. I love them. I've got a bunch of them at home, um, and they've actually donated a. Uh, case binder for the mystery prize. Let me just show you that real quick. It's actually a sports collection, a sports card collection binder kit. So not only are you going to get the case binder, but it also comes preloaded with some, some pages as well. So this is uh, this is what it looks like. Well, minus the flare. <laughs> um, but it's a totally awesome, I mean, it's completely enclosed. It snaps shut. It's freaking awesome, and I just want to thank Unikeep, especially Brian, who I worked with uh, quite extensively in making sure that we got this uh, put together. Um, the other thing that we did with Unikeep is uh, everyone that's in the break tonight, um, and this is something I've uh, kind of held as a secret, um, everyone will be getting one of these cool Unikeep coupon cards that uh, 
were designed by the uh, the guy that designs cards for Varsity Trading Cards. <coughs> me, <coughs> me. Um, you'll all be getting 50% off your entire order at Unikeep.com with this coupon card. I will be sending it, sending these coupon cards out with the cards that you get from tonight's break. So Unikeep, thank you so much for stepping up tonight. That was totally awesome. So please, everybody. Go check out Unikeep.com. Find yourself some awesome sports cards, uh, uh, case binders. Uh, another company that helped out in a big way is Ultra Pro. They sent just a massive prize donation. In fact, it was so big that I had to split it in two. And Steve from the Case Breakers used it as part of his uh, raffle prize. Uh, another company that helped out, a uh, newer company that you most of you might be familiar with by now, is Sports Card Album. They sent out along a couple of uh, prize packs. Um, so yeah, I think if I forgot anybody at this point, um, we did get some donations, uh, from some other people too, and I'll mention them as I'm showing off these, uh, prizes later. Just remember that the, the, the mystery prize, um, is, well, it looks bigger actually than the case that I just opened. So there's a lot in there. So five bucks to charity and one person's going to go home with all that. But let's start off box number one. Um. My wife, my my dear wife, just had a huge long day of work, and she just literally walked in the door, threw on a, a, her twins outfit. Who you got on today? Um, the latest twin player to lead the twins, because <laughs> that's what I do. I whatever um, player I buy like the shirt of, they're gone within a year, and I don't know what my deal is. So if you have anybody you want to get. Traded off or removed from your team, let me know and I will order that person's shirt and then wear it. So right, so if anyone really desperately needs Mike Pelfrey or Kevin Correa on their team, she will buy their I shirt. I will buy the shirt. And they'll be gone from the twins well, just like that. What, who do you have on today? They have Ben Revere. Ben Revere. Oh, Deb. Yeah. How does Deb always come for Deb? I feel, I feel like we're picking on her at this point. She grabbed my phone. She said she she's not home yet. Well, she was going to try to text during. Okay, well, she did tell me she's not home till eight, which her time would be seven here. So. Okay, I'm just a kind of a random question to ask you. Yeah. Are there male and female baseball hats? I don't believe so. This one's so long. I feel like it could tuck my ears. Are in. you wearing mine? No. no. I don't know. I well, so. look. Is it the strap back? No. No. I don't know. It's just all based just on curious. your head size. I'm not going <laughs> to not good. Okay, so right. Miss Sorter, yes. just so that you're aware, yep. these are the box loaders. Yep. So you can just make a separate stack for these, and we'll worry about those later. Okay. Um, so each box, of course, is going to come with a box loader. Um, each uh, box is going to have, what is it, 24 packs and 8 cards per pack, 12 boxes. Steve actually... Killed it from what I understand uh, with his uh, case. Here's the first box loader, and it's Jose Abreu. Not a bad start already. These are some nice, crisp looking box loaders, and mm -hmm. I've never been a huge fan of box loaders myself, but these actually look really nice. If you need so uh, shoulder surgery, you need to talk to my dentist. He knows a guy out in Colorado. And my dentist is like the richest man I know, so it's like, yeah, next time I hurt my shoulder, give me a referral. <laughs> Pay, paid the doctor with a few cars, probably, is that what you said? Oh, we have our first hit. We have our first hit. So we're going to quick stuff that in the back as well as we can. First hit of the night. We'll make that the last card I pull out of this pack. As i um, there's our mini. It's a predator. It's a hippopotamus. I didn't know they were predators. And this one is going to be a mini framed something or other. Probably an autograph, I'm guessing. And I was wrong. It's a relic. And it is of Elvis Andrus. Rangers is probably James H. Rangers is... Um, that's correct. Yay! Congratulations, James. You are the first hit of the night. I'll kind of keep this semi sort of in view in front of my... I've changed Mountain Dews for the night. I've got Baja Blast uh, while they're still available. <laughs> One of these days, they're going to send me a case. <laughs> um, that Dr. Andrews looks like Joe Biden. Mm. 
I can see that. I can also see Joe Biden with his own card. So. <laughs> hmm. Now this is a. I always say this is a thick. No, don't. But it's not. It's just tight. No. That's all. It's not. It's. Oh man. <laughs> I will stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> I uh, potentially have a few people watching tonight that I uh, emailed that uh, probably don't, don't want me to talk like that. <laughs> uh, so Altuve, the shortest man playing baseball, is our mini. Appropriately, <laughs> the Hawk Dawson. There is a hit, and I just stumbled upon it. I knew it felt a little strange. Uh, this is a, a Phelps Sweat. Um, I hope that's the person's name and not actually what's on the relic in here. Oh, really? Well, it's with two T's. Sweat, I'm oh, guessing, is okay. the last name. Oh, yeah, so, John, you got a relic hit in your non-baseball slot. That came out of nowhere. I'm glad it was sitting in the back, though. So, congratulations, John S. of Waxtopia. Some nationals and slash senators cards, I should say. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah. I, mean, yep, I know what you're talking about. Go to the Rangers, depending on who it is, what era it is. You tell me, then. Well, I'm telling you for sure. Don't let anyone have my Harmon Killer. I promise. Says the woman wearing a Twins shirt and a Twins hat. <laughs> Questionable Twins hat. Hey. Seriously, it's like a I I believe, here. yes, this card is a thick card. We have our third hit. So this is going to be our final hit of this box. Uh, and it's probably not an autograph. By the way, autographs, from what I hear, are awfully hard to pull this year, as usual, but even more so this year for Alan and Gitter. Uh, thanks, Babe Ruth. All right, so World's Capitals is not the, the hit. I was going to say, that'd be awfully strange if we got a World Capitals hit. Uh, the hit is of a dude in glasses. Looks like Adam Schefter, and it is, and it's a piece of... I've seen this piece before, and I want to know what it is. It looks like uh, one of his uh, pinstripe shirts. So, John gets two hits out of this box. With an, you know who Adam Schefter is? Yeah. ESPN. Yeah. yeah. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> all right. Congratulations, John. Now, how, there are some bloggers that are in, in, in the chat right here, actually. Well, how come you guys didn't get cards? How come I didn't get a card? How come Night Owl, for God's sake, didn't get a card? He probably refused, actually. I'm sure he was the first one tops to me. Hey, we're going to give you a $75 contract. Why would he refuse? Because he has morals. I don't know. Uh, so we've got our first hit of this box. Um, and it's not this mini, but it is a nice Ozzy Smith uh, bordered mini. And we're just going to take our sweet time getting to... It's an angel. I don't think Deb has angels this round. Um, Kirk, Mr. Kirk, who actually uh, wanted me to pull a Mike Trout for him, and that's what I did. Okay, maybe that's not exactly what he wanted, but I did get a hit for him. A Mike Trout jersey relic card. Congratulations, Kirk. I mean, Tommy John isn't just... You know, for pitchers only, you know. Yeah. Oh, he's going to sell it on eBay. Surgery? He said it. Never mind. Okay. Yes. Okay, we've got uh, our second hit. And by the looks of it, it's not non baseball, but you never know. Um, look at there soon. Look at there soon. There's, oh, hello, Tony Glenn. That's the one gripe that I've heard so far about the All-Star Game is that they didn't do or say anything about Tony Gwynn. But they always have to get approval from the family first, and they might not have been ready. Uh, maybe maybe so. It. Maybe so. That always, that's, yeah. Here's our hit. It's a frame. Nope. Here's our not a hit. Here's the regular mini. Let's get that out of the way here so we don't uh, screw it up. All right. Our hit is a framed mini of... It's an autograph. Of Nomar Garcia Para. Red Sox. John is cleaning up. cleaning up. Well, you know what? Here's what I say about that. He sure spent enough money. Yeah. So he should be cleaning I hope up. He, he should appreciates be. What I, how I did the signature on the card. Because we, we, did you pack this pack yourself? They can't see the wink from over there. You have to be on <laughs> camera when you're winking like I that. I thought it was on camera. <laughs> 
Camera's right here, pointing that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> no ma, and he's a retired player. That joke went totally unappreciated by my better half. I love here. Just so y'all know, we are still taking donations for the uh, mystery prize, and if uh, you didn't see it earlier, uh, the mystery prize is in a box that is larger than the case. <laughs> so. Five bucks could get you that prize, plus that five dollars will go to a great cause, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and we've got our used memorabilia, and I can already tell who it is, and it's going to John once again. Whoa. It is a Snoop Lion. Um, Roach. <laughs> possibly. What is Looks it? like a piece of a wife beater. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's white. Does it tell you what it is? Uh, no, it just says used memorabilia. Oh. Dude used it, and who God knows. Yeah, smell contact, it. contact, smell. Okay, scratch and sniff. Uh, it smells washed. Actually, it smells like cotton candy. She wants one now. She's like, Can I get that? John, give me that. <laughs> give me a sniff. All right, American Alligator and Tommy Lasada. What would your relic be if you met a card? Um, who's to say I'm not making some? No, I'm just saying for <laughs> fun, like Bell and Ginter did for you. Would they like You know what I would do? I would take the day? no, I would take the freaking keyboard on the PC downstairs and take the keys off. And they can embed my keys. That's good. I wouldn't even clean them first. They'd have all my fingerprints and grindy grudge. They can call that blog use. No, someone's already done that, and it's gross. Well, and his name is Daniel Nato. Did you know him? Uh, I'm surprised that you've mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, I expect you. Bad lip reading. Hey, another twin. I think, okay, I've officially pulled all the twins cards now. <laughs> there can't possibly be any more. Oh, we got oh, we got a good one. This is a good one. I just saw foil numbers, and that can mean, boy, that's going to be a good one. Let's start with Roger Maris. I'm going to go through this slowly to build the anticipation. We already know that I've got a Twins card in there. We've got Gary Sheffield in his Marlins days. There's my Mauer, uh, the All-Star Ambassador, because he wasn't good enough to be even selected to play. Of course, he's also injured. Um, Kyle Seeger, excellent talent out of Seattle. Um, and our Air Supremacy, Sea Harrier FA2. And our hit, number 38 of 50, uh, has a mini there. And I'm going to actually disregard that mini for a second. Here it is. It's James Shields' mini. Okay, there we go. And the hit is 38 of 50, and it is a baseball player. I can tell because there's a bat there. Oh, it's Jonas. It's a rip card of Jonas Cespedes, your two-time, two-time home run derby champion. Wow. Now, this is only the second rip card I've ever pulled. Now, whoever owns this, the A's, can you tell me who owns I should know this by now. I think I know who it does. Ed Jay. Ed, okay. Mm. Now, here's why I think you should rip this card. Um, it's cut kind of strange on the back side. So that's going to decrease its value just from that. Plus, my philosophy is I don't care what this card is. If it's not autographed and it's a rip card, I'm ripping it. But congratulations. Do you know what a rip card is? Yes. What is a rip card? You have to do something to it to actually get the what could be a really valuable card. There's a card inside this card. Yeah. Yeah, you can literally rip it. There's another card in here. This could be, there could be uh, an autograph card within here. Yeah. There could, I mean, there's... You have to be really careful when you... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely be careful when you rip So, it. did you say the... And there's actually the tab right on top here. I don't know if anyone can see this very well, but there's a tab kind of right there where you actually peel it. If I'm sorry. If you get a twin rip card, would you rip it? Why? I would. And I would, I would keep the ripped card for my right. collection. But yes, I would rip, unless it were. And I've never seen an autographed ripped card. Now, that's what Tops should be doing. 
Yeah. Is autographed, having those rip cards autographed. And then, yeah, and then decision. Yep. that would be mean of Tops. That would be awesome of Tops. Tops, don't like the Take it to the next level, no. guys. If you're looking for the new innovation, Piss your customers off. Have your players under contract autograph things that you don't want people to ruin. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a jerk. That was awesome. Hey, Chris. Um, well, what was a great card that was pulled last year uh, from Blizz? Oh, it was, uh, it was a Babe Ruth that I oh. happened to pull. What? You pulled a Babe Ruth? Yeah, and I think it went to Bobby. It went to a, it went to a girl, didn't it? No, I don't know. I it thought it was to Bobby. Sold We've got a hit. So let's put that in the back. I think that's hit number two out of this. Yep, hit number two out of this box. So we're starting off with our Travis... Um, Dun 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 Wow. Today, Junior. No, the who's who's Oh yeah. Um yeah. Thailand is our or Bangkok is our world capital, and our hit is a baseball player. You can tell because he's a catcher, and it's a relic of Avila. At least it's not a Molina, and I don't have to guess which Molina it is. This is Alex Avila for the Detroit Detroit Tigers. And Tigers, I should know my Tigers. Ryan Key? Oh, Ryan. Congratulations. He's in the chat room. Ryan, hey, I just Ryan. pulled you a hit, buddy. Congrats. It's your Alex Avila. Yeah, he says thanks. Yeah, it was all me, buddy. <laughs> Um, no. Yes. Check there to see because you're short. I'm short. Yeah. Short what? Short of those wrappers. Oh, it's probably the one that's still in here from okay. from way. Just your number. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it when breakers say, "Hey, you know, I'm the one that pulls these. That's I'm ridiculous. the one." That's ridiculous. You know. Well, hey. Like you say, you feel pretty lucky that you get to be the one to. Well, you know what? Atlanta Sports Cards was oh. the one that sent me the case, so maybe it should be on them. I don't know. Yeah. That's just my philosophy. I don't know. Oh, we got another hit. And I can tell this is non baseball because the guy is not wearing any sports type stuff. Uh, Mike Mussina is our mini. Now, I'm not checking the backs yet. Um, we'll check those later on. Some of these are like hand numbered on the back. Yeah. So uh, definitely have to check for those at some point. Our natural wonder insert is McWay Falls. And our hit, third hit, final hit of the box is a relic of this dude. Oh, he's an eating champion. It's Clancy. I don't even know that. This is a Joey. Of course, that's... Yes, rip cards definitely count as hits. Kevin Clancy is a blogger, so we got another glo another blogger. So, Jim. Jim? Is that? No. John. John. Jim. John, congratulations on yet another hit. You should sort with boxes, huh? Well, how everything was like halfway over. Oh. Remember? Oh, yeah. So you needed like... Um, like dividers. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I get that, I get that, but... Uh, Fine. I like my oh well I just ruined that we have a hit so let's just get to that first uh, David Price relic card for the Rays Gold Alex O Alex and he's here yay Alex hey Alex donated some cards here's one back for you buddy nice congratulations on your David Price relic hit and here's the mini that was behind it a Jorge whor Posada you thought I was gonna stop at whore, didn't you? I did. That's why I looked up. Like, where's it? You pulled. You pulled a whore. You pulled a whore out of a box of tops cards. That's what she did. Hashtag thanks tops. <laughs> That's a hashtag that gets used quite often on Twitter, actually. We should be thanking tops though, because they did donate a few things uh, for Steve's half of the break. Oh, we got another hit. So back-to-back -back hits. Let's uh, not ruin it this time. Uh, Ricky Henderson mini. Uh, head charging down like a bull. I guess he's probably thinking he's stealing a base there. It's an A&G back. A&G. Hey, 
Twins, and our hit is a baseball man for the Braves, and it's a relic of Brian Doja. McCann. Oh. McCann can. And I talked for quite a while with, with, with Amy about this. Why am I... Okay, here's a hit. I'll talk to you in a second about it. Yeah. Uh, let me see. How am I going to do this? There we go. Let's sneak that mini out first. Okay. Here's our mini. It's uh, the um, feared Evan Longoria. No, it's the Leno, uh, Len Lenomia. Looks like uh, a deadly type of caterpillar. I'm not sure. He probably has those in our basement. Yeah, we probably do. <laughs> we have it all. Okay, time. here comes the, I think, third and final hit of this box. It's a mini framed autograph. Another autograph. No, oh, that's good luck. Oh, and it's... It's Lloyd. I don't know your name. Carly Lloyd. Soccer player. John S. See, I told you John's going to be cleaning up today. Congratulations, John. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, as I was saying, now, was that just a coincidence that his name was Al Kaline? His dad's name is most Wow, well, that was dumb. That's actually a person's name. No smoking. Nose. No small space. I have a hit. Wow. And it's a gray border. I was wondering when I was going to finally run into those. But here's our D.D. Gregorius. Uh, Steve did a couple. He did his charity break already. And then he had another case that he decided to do. And honestly, I wish I would have jumped on a few cases. But eh, case prices are going up. So I'm going to stick with just the one. Did these get separated, or is that considered a hit? Nope, they're not hits. Um, so here we go. And let's pull these up. There's Schefter and Jennings. And our hit is a framed mini. Ooh, cool. Zach Wheeler. New York Mets. Who got my Mets this time? I don't think it's the same person. Mets is Olaf. Oh, yeah, Olaf. Congratulations, Olaf. I, I do like the look of these uh, orange framed minis with the, the gray uh, frames. He's, uh, well, it's orange and blue, obviously, because that's the Mets colors. But um, just the way that this looks with the gray border. Very awesome. Congratulations, Olaf. That was the first hit of this box, and if these, if this box is uh, anything like the last couple of boxes, I'm probably going to end up with uh, a few successive hits here. And yep, I was correct. So we got another hit in this pack. So we'll kind of tuck that in the background. Predator is the Australian box jellyfish. I just love those oddball. Insert cards. Okay, so our hit looks like it's for the pirates. And it looks like it's Grilly, who is no longer a pirate. No, it's Cole. Justin R. Justin R. gets a um, Garrett Cole relic card. Let's see if we can get focused on Mr. Cole here at some point. There we go. Garrett Cole relic card. I didn't know that was possible. I thought it was a live feed, so it's live, but you can go back to the beginning, kind of like streaming. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Again, another feature that I'm really liking about these uh, Google Hangouts through YouTube is that it's just it's like DVR. Okay, so I was right. We've got our third hit in a row. So these these boxes are like boom, 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 right in the middle of the box. So uh, Rienzo Mini to start it off, and our hit is. I think this is a bat card. It's Rockies. It is a bat card yeah. of cargo. Rockies are Ryan P. Ryan P. I believe that's your second hit, isn't it, Ryan? If my camera would just focus on cargo's card, uh, bat relic. My first bat relic of this uh, case. 
we'll get some better photos up. There we go. Here we go. We'll get some better photos of uh, of these hits at some other point. Oh, oh. Ooh. Hey, Steve. Does that look familiar to you? Did I pull the big one that I thought I was gonna pull? Um, yeah. This might be a book card. Ooh. I'm gonna hold on to that puppy. That's gonna sit right there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna let that sit probably all night. What? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let that one sit. This is probably a book card right here. The fir very first pack that I pull out of the damn box. Excuse my language, but whoa. <laughs> you just were singing a song about cocaine, and then you said the word. Damn. Cocaine is not a swear word. <laughs> okay, so just so everyone knows, this is um if I were to sell a hot pack on eBay. Uh, how, what is it, how does he say it? Boom, baby! Damn yous. Damn yous all to hell. Yeah, I don't know. It's another... Oh, 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 no way. No way. No freaking way. What? <laughs> What'd you get? An autograph for you? No, no, no. We're going to hide this one. Um, let's just let... Okay, there's the mini. Don't look. Okay. Strategically placing some cards here because I know what's in the back, kind of. Um, Alex Gordon Mini. Snoop Lion Base. Cuddy again. Lou Brock. And then behind Kinsler is numbered to 75. Don't look. It's Braves. Rip card number two. Two rip cards in the same case. Not a double rip, but two rip cards all the same and potentially a book card. Julio Teheran, 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 uh, for the Braves. And that's another Braves hit. And I'm sorry, who's my Braves again? Pull the cards first. And then you'll tell me. <laughs> Correct. All right. You said Braves? Yeah. Um, Braves is Jerome. Oh, yeah. Jerome again. Jerome's going to – I don't think Jerome is even aware that I'm doing the break tonight because he's probably – where is he at? He's in, like, Netherlands, probably crying about his soccer team. Uh, <laughs> probably sleeping right now, actually. Because um, I would imagine, what is it? Uh, oh, yeah, it's past midnight out there. He probably has no idea what, what just happened to him. <laughs> oh, and here is another hit. So we'll just let that sit in the back. We'll start with our William Blake mini. Eddie Murray, our switch hitting phenomenon. Max Scherzer, Cole Hamels, Matt Holliday, Matt Kemp. And our hit is used, so it's not game used, so we know it's not baseball. Person's also not wearing a hat, so he's wearing glasses. It's our Klosterman. And I like this because it looks very interesting. You know what? I don't like It's a t-shirt, I'm guessing, that looks like it's a screen printed of a screen print of some sort. So I wonder what t-shirt he gave to Tops. If there's any significance to it, Chuck Clark. How do they tell that story on the back of the card? Uh, well, you see how much room they have back there? Uh, enough room to tell the story about the t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, there's like four lines back here. It says, this genuine tops Allen and Ginter relic card features memorabilia from Chuck Klosterman writer. And then there's their legalese. Chuck Klosterman is awesome. Uh, Steve says, yes, he's on delay. And he says it's a book. Woo. Um, he doesn't think it's a cub, though. So he's a little disappointed. So, uh, John. Another hit for you, buddy. Thank you. Boy, if I do, I'm definitely going to have to go back to Three Star Sports Cards where I get all of my trading card supplies. I believe this might be, and it's Mike Trout. I always seem if why do I always seem to pull? And it is, it is, holy crap. Really? Box loader jersey of Mike freaking Trout. Yep, I'm going to have to go back to the... What a case. This has been a heck of a case. Holy cow. I couldn't have asked for a better case of Allen and Ginter this year, I don't think. Goodness. Yeah, I'm going to have... And it's uh, hand number two at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. 
and number three of 25. So I am absolutely, without a doubt, have, I'm going to have to go back to the card shop and get a protector for this. There's no way, absolutely no way, this is getting shipped without some protection. So, um, Angels again. Who was that again? Was that John? Kirk. Oh, Kirk. Kirk, I'm just going to hand this to you. <laughs> Kirk works up the road from us. I... Yeah, forget going to the card shop. I'm just going to walk this down the street. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations. I Man, I can't believe that came across a box loader hit. I've never pulled a box loader hit before. It's one of the one of the things that I haven't pulled before. <laughs> okay, now we're getting to the row of packs that I believe ha all have the hits. And... I think there is a hit in here. Now, yep, there is a hit in there. So that's going to be a framed mini of somebody, obviously. Okay. So we've got Robbie Cano, don't you know? And Cepeda, Williams, Flores, Bumgarner, Bum Brett Lowry, and our framed mini is a. Uh, uh, relic card of Steven Strasburg. Oh, Washington Nationals. Felicia Day. I know. I, I knew you were going to grin like that. Marissa's back. Hi, Marissa. Hey, Marissa. Who has my Nets this Ooh. year? Who has the Nationals this year? Uh, Rich B. Rich. Oh, he left already. Right. Rich. I Rich. Get, I get well, you're not here. You know, you don't get your card. So. Nope. All right. So. I like them. This pack is probably going to have a hit as well. Why did you lick his Nats card? That's what happens. People leave the room. I lick the you, get, you get all licky? I get all licky. I don't think that's a good practice. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to stop. All right, so our hit is back there. And let's see if I can move it. Well, it's a player for sure. There's Sterling Marte Mini. There's Gar. Sale, Salazar, Banks, Clifford, Lee, and our hit is San Francisco Giants. Relic card of, of the Cane Man. The Cane Man. The Cane Man. Why aren't you focusing? Ross, I'm sorry that my camera is sucking. Let me see if I uh, block out some light here. Maybe it'll... Uh, maybe if I put it over here, it'll focus more away from the camera. <laughs> well, anyways, Matt Cain, relic card. There you go. I, I waste more time on this camera trying to focus on things. So, all right, this pack I do believe also has a hit. It's getting predictable. Man. I should just, you know, take those three packs out of each box and just set them to the side and just rip into those. So there's our memorabilia. So there's our uh, Williams framed mini. Well, not framed mini, border mini, mini border. Longo, Freeze, Craig, and our. Oh, well, this is going to be our blogger. Game used memorabilia. Oh, not game used, but a used memorabilia card. A Portnoy. I wonder if that's the jersey that he's wearing in this in this photo. So John, there's there's another relic for you of our blogger wearing a eating an Oreo. No, this is not the Oreo guy. Oh. This is a guy who wears a hat that says hairdo or or hardo or something. Nardo? Maybe this blogger can get online and tell me what the hell it says. <laughs> Congratulations, John. One more hit. And that's three. So that's that's all the hits for this box. So anyone needs to go use the restroom, but by all means, go ahead. Like Statue of Liberty monuments, you're saying? Did you get one of these? Well, yeah, I think I did. Yeah. The first one I thought was. Did you say this one's pretty? Yeah, I did. I know. I think it was one of the box loaders. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I was wrong. One of these is a hit. Oh, one of these packs that I pulled out earlier is that maybe I got the wrong row. Maybe it's these three. Okay, so. Okay, so 
I was wrong. Maybe I needed to go down one more row. Wade Miley Mini. And our hit is framed. Autograph red. Autograph. Are you flipping kidding me? A red freaking autograph? Okay, Brent collects these. Brent collects like the high end of the high end. And red autographs are super hard to get. It's a red autograph. The unframed red autographs are obviously harder to get because you can only get those rip cards. These are not these are hand numbered to ten. Wow. Who's this is for the pirates, Andrew Lambeau. And that's uh Justin R. Justin R. I can't believe this case. This is freaking incredible. Wow. I'm really pleased, and we still have four and a half boxes to do. How would you have said that? Ah, I see. I'm probably wrong. That's why there's a smart person in the house. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Does anybody know which one? I'm sure someone knows. And we've got a hit, so I definitely pulled from the wrong row. So there goes my theory. Hey, it worked last time. I'm pretty sure you said there goes my yeah, theory. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, Rays. Looks like Longo, maybe? Yep, Longo, bat card. And remind me, remind me again who has the Rays. Uh, Alex. Alex again. Congratulations. Well, Alex... Gives, Alex will receive. You know, when I say no name, that's all obviously relative because, you know, I'm a Twins fan and I'll take an Oswaldo RC jersey card over not getting anything at all. <laughs> but that's just me. Okay, so here's the third hit. So I was totally wrong. I was totally off. Imagine that. Me being wrong? No way. Uh, this is going to be a non-sport. Bald-headed. Oh, it's, is it Michael Eisner? It is Michael Eisner, the boss. I just call he's the boss of Star Wars now. No, he's not. He has nothing to do with Disney anymore, does he? Yeah, he I don't know. I don't know if he does. But a Mickey Mouse tie. I think that's his tie. Wow. But there's Mickey Mouse there, so and he, he's noted as businessman. Interesting. So John... That's a really cool relic to have. That is awesome. That's probably really high value. I'm guessing that's a very high end high, probably high thread count. You could probably sleep in that. Uh, Ryan says he's not sure there's many with Mickey sticking out of it, so. Oh. Isn't that nice? Oh, and I actually just made almost a. Oh. She was, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty nice. Ha ha. Ha ha. There you go. Ha ha. Not that I haven't had freaking awesome hits so far the way it is. Boy, I couldn't have been more wrong. The very top pack in this box is a hit already. So I'm definitely wrong with my theory. Okay, so let's get this mini out of the way. So it's uh, Simmons. There we go. Whoops. Bogerts, George Brett, Matt Adams. Festivals and fairs, the uh, La Tomatina, or Tomatina, I should say. There's Robin Yount, and then the hit is a framed mini of... Oh, it's a plate! Are you kidding me? Now I'm pulling a plate. This is a one-of-one -one <laughs> printing plate. Uh, this is for John. So it's a magenta of Allison Felix, sprinter. Well, yeah, John should have because uh, unlike last year, uh, the non-baseball was not priced at $75. Uh, <laughs> it was priced a bit more appropriately. So, uh, no, I didn't pull an auto box topper, but I did pull a relic of Mike Trout. Hand numbered three of 25. I mean, two rip cards, red auto. We know we got a book coming up, too. Good lord. 
So, Amy, if you ever do a case of Allen and Ginter, this is the type of case you hope to get in your you charity get, break. You get hit by a bus, but you know what I'm looking for. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. Does anybody have a bus? Can Amy, I love him. Does it have a printing plate in it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And me, as a designer who's, who's worked with prints, okay, here's another uh, hit. Boy, I was so wrong. Um, I totally. Um, into plates because I've worked with print for so much of my life since I've got my degree. Who just joined? Someone just did and I missed it. Um, so anyhow. Oh, Justin R. just joined. Hello, Justin. I think I pulled a hit for you earlier today. I can't remember. So. There's a Mahler Mini, Skaggs, Martinez, Ravi Cano, Moore, Kipnis, and the hit is a framed Mini Auto. You called it. Man, I'm pulling more autos than I should have. Of Ranchik. Bill Ranchik. Ranchik? Ranchik? He's a businessman. He uh, was the winner of The Apprentice, the oh, original was he? series. Oh, was and he? he's married to Juliana Vitandi from E News, and they have a reality show. Hey, I know too much crap. Well, pop culture, pop culture. John with another hit. John, obviously, cleaning house, because that's what happens when you get the non baseball. You're going to clean house. Okay. Well, I am happy, though, to see that I did get one of the harder ones to pull. Okay, we've got a hit. So I think that's number three. Right in the back there, there's a bordered Will Clark. Another Photoshop Nolasco, Gordon Beltran, F-15 Eagle. And our hit is Mariners King Felix Jersey. De King. Who's got the Mariners this time? Chris C. Chris C. That's almost, almost half an. Well, it's more. Nah. I don't want to say it's half and half between sports and non-sports. Here's another hit, so we'll just kind of pull that yeah, out. Yeah, there's still more sports. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Sunny Gray, Mini. And our hit is baseball, Jersey, Brewers. Oh, and it's Segura. Obviously, from both of us, our thoughts go out to him and his family. Then I, I just told you about it, didn't I? Yeah. So, Kent, here's your hit. I feel like I, if I'm pulling a Brewer's hit, it's usually a Segura. Oops. Knocked into the camera. That would appear to be the case. Yeah. Yep. So we got a hit coming. There's our Jonas Cespedes Mini. And our hit for the box, it's going to be Pirates. Starling Marte. Or is it? Yeah, Starling Marte. Well, I'm just impressed with myself for saying his name correctly. <laughs> How do you know? How do I know? I'm guessing. Okay. Just completely guessing that his name was Starling. You know, I heard somewhere, and I'm not sure where, but I heard somewhere that Kid Rock was born free. Okay, we've got a hit. It's a framed mini. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Well, got a ha ha out of that anyway. Uh, border to Heron, Tanaka base, Kang, Balfour, Gibson, Arenado, and a hit is a framed mini of another autograph. It's Angels again. Santiago, Kirk. Kirk with the Angels love tonight. So it seems like it's non-baseball and Angels tonight that are... And I, I've got to whip up my, a bunch of $5 bills, I think, tonight. Congrats again, Kirk, on that nice auto. Pulling a few, few more autos than I was actually expecting. I've got to be honest with you.
think we got a hit. Yep, we do. Doop, doop, do. Put that back there. Uh, Piranha is our Predator Mini. Clemente, Sabathia, Choice, Zimmerman, Worth, and our Relic is non-baseball. Oh, it's uh, Andrew's Scrub Relic. That's hilarious. Not a redemption for a free surgery, but uh, nice. <laughs> it really is. A, a, it's a scrub. Too. It's not the same color as the scrubs he's wearing in the card, but it's definitely, without a doubt. You're so tired they ought to call you Brian Dozer. Mm -hmm. I threw another 10 bucks to charity. Hey, awesome. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. That's two more entries for you, sir. Okay, we got a hit, and I can tell it's the Mets, but I won't give away who it is. Lou Brock, Yount, Freeman, Weaver, McCovey, Necro, and our Mets hit, game used relic of Matt Harvey. That's a good one I have. Fantastic. Not the first Mets hit I pulled tonight. I don't believe. So we are on hit row, I can tell. Yep. For sure. That's the little way. There's the hit. Put that out of the way. And Eaton. Eisler, Eisler, Iron Lake. Smith, Sandberg, Machado, and the hit is another Mets hit, another game user of uh, memorabilia, this time Zach Wheeler, pinstripe in the jersey. Two Mets in the same box, so if you're a Mets fan, this is a good box. Final pack. If there's no hit in here, then we were short, shorted a hit in this box, I think, unless, unless I'm missing something here. Nope. The no, unless the red back counted as one. Oh, there we go. There is a hit in this pack. All right, so final pack has a hit. Try to make this interesting. There we go. All right, so this one is a framed mini. And that's an AG back there. All right, and our framed mini is... Another auto, Phillies, Roof, Darren Ruff. So, in your opinion, for those who have been kind of watching most of this break here, am I pulling more autos than has been the standard so far in these cases? Because I feel like I have. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't that be my luck? Kirk said, since I, you know, if I do the Bowman Chrome random team and don't get the twins, I'll end up pulling finally a Bucks Bonato. <laughs> finally. Well, I should just pony up the money and just pay for it. Okay, we've got our first hit of this box. Our Predator is the Black Eagle. And our hit is non-baseball. John, you get... No, it is baseball. It's Buster Posey. You fooled me because you didn't have your mascot. So, Ross, if you're still in the house, there you go. Buster Posey. Game used memorabilia jersey. I'm guessing it's uh, not pants. I don't know why I said that. Who can tell? <laughs> wow. Who even knows? Wow. Okay, so Two more hits to go. Plus, don't forget this bad boy here. I'm really curious to know what's inside that. Probably a super thick decoy card. Yeah. Bitch, just okay, we've got another hit here. This is a gray frame, so that tells me that's probably a jersey. Okay, so Upton... Border card. And our frame mini 
probably relic is Mark Trumbo. This is Kirk again, isn't it? Mark Trumbo, relic, framed relic. It's a color mini too. Angels. Yep. Kirk's doing very well tonight, if I do say so myself. Uh, Ryan says it may be a hundred code cards stacked on top of each other with a sideways mini. <laughs> <laughs> One might suspect the book card will be Angels, because apparently the book card is not going to be non-baseball. Yeah, I'm getting a thumbs up, I think, from Kirk there. Okay, our third and final hit of this box is in this pack. Let's start with our Parker Mini. It is an AG back. Nomar Garcia Parra, A-Rod, Hank Aaron, Stan Musial. I uh, don't know your first name, Mr. Kelly. Sorry. Don? Kelly? I don't know. And Marlins gets the last hit. Jersey of Fernandez. Deb. Well, of course, Deb. Deb always gets the fish. She usually gets Angels, Phillies, Fish. But Kirk snuck in and got her Angels tonight. And good for Kirk, because uh, he did very, fairly well. So, congratulations, Deb. All right, Twitter. If you're not watching this, this is happening live. And, boy, this sucker's thick. All right, so there is one other card in here. And before I reveal what the hit is, I'm going to... Oh, there, there are a couple cards in here, so let's uh, just put that down. So we've got a mini of Adam Eaton. It's a border mini. And then we've got Dennis Eckersley. Okay. Which leaves... The final card. My wife knows what it is already. She's looking right no, at it. I don't. I don't my glasses on. I can see. It is. Darno for the Mets. Travis Darno. Olaf. Olaf. Holy jumbo. Whoa. That's cool. Olaf, you're going to have to be a very happy guy. You got some good hits out of this case, buddy. And this is one of the top ones I've pulled. This is number 6 of 10. It is weird seeing a sticker autograph on an uh, Allen and Ginter card, but look at that nasty jumbo pinstripe on there. Holy cow. Jeez, that's insane. That is absolutely Ooh. awesome looking. Now, I just want to warn you, though, Olaf, if you can see this right here, that corner on this book up here, slight ding to it right up there. Probably flatten it out, but um, I know for a fact that Ultra Pro makes uh, one touches for this kind of a card. So hit up Ultra Pro. All right, so that does it for the case break. Now on to the raffle. This is populated in the order that the donations were made. Randomizing. First time, David H. moves on to the next round. This is for real. John S. moves on to the next round. This wow. is for real. Third and final randomization. Deb U. moves on to the next round. Congratulations to you three. David H. John S. Deb U. So remember, whoever lands on three, three total times is our grand prize winner.
Can everyone see the names, by the way? Because I, I can't see this on my screen. Can everyone see the names that are coming up on the list? So you guys can see that. Okay. Just want to make sure. All right. Randomizing. David H. Hits number three first. Let's randomize one more time. David H. hits it again. David H., you hit number three one more time, and you have won this huge prize. Deb, you sneaks in there once. All right. <laughs> Let's randomize one more time. Let's see. Maybe John S. can get it in there once. Here we go. Ready? David H., are you getting nervous? Ready, set. I mean, my wife is like, well, <gasps> okay, ready, set, go. David H., <laughs> congratulations. You just won yourself wow. a whole crap load of stuff. David H., congratulations. And thank you so much for your donation, David H. Thank you so much, everyone else. Like I said, 1235 bucks. Going to be going to Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Next up, I am pretty sure we're going to be doing a Bowman Chrome case. Uh, it's not going to be charity, so it's not. It's going to be a little bit more affordable. Um, but everyone that have been in my charity case breaks this year will be getting an exclusive invitation to a private break, and it's going to have a bunch of random boxes. So we're talking like Tier 1, Museum, Tribute, uh, Bowman Inception, um, even some base sets like uh, Don Russ and Prism are going to be in there. A bunch of fun things to break. That'll be later on in the year, so keep your eye out for that. Also, keep your eye out for these cool little coupon cards for Unikeep. Yes, I designed them. Uh, yes, I have my Varsity Trading Cards logo on it, so, you know, go to Varsity Trading Cards. Um, and that'll do it. So thank you so much. Have a great night, everybody. My wife and I are going to go start for a little bit, and then we're going to go to sleep. <laughs> and uh, it's been great. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great night, and keep... Cracking that wax.